Hey, my beautiful Scorpios, welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and this is going to be a general reading for our beloved Scorpios. That means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. This is also going to be a timeless reading, so whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, that will be the divine time and intended for you all to do so. I will all of you are well. I will all of you are blessed. Um, apparently, Spirit has a lot to say to you because I felt compelled these last two videos. It literally was just spontaneous to um, do these readings for you. So this is the same uh, type of energy. So I, apparently, there's something that the Divine wants to tell you. Um, for all of you who may be new, welcome. My name is Q. I am a Scorpio and I also uh, am clairaudient. So you will hear music playing in the background and I do uh, incorporate those messages from the song, the, either the lyrics, the name of the artist, um, into the reading and it tends to ben blend very beautifully. Um, so I'm very excited to see what Spirit has to say to you all today. Right now we have Sybil playing, um, Don't Make Me Over. Uh, so I feel like for some of you all, um, this is like almost like uh, a plea or a, you know, I'm hearing disclaimer. It's almost like you're, you, whoever's coming in to love you, you don't want them to make you over. You don't want them to uh, try to change you, if you will. You want them to accept you for who you are, for what you, you know, for, for what you can provide as you are, you know. So maybe in a former relationship, you didn't feel appreciated or seen or valued. And so you're just letting someone new, it feels like someone new is approaching, someone new is coming in, and you're just letting them know up front, out the gate, like what type of time you on and it's like don't make me over because I know who I am I've worked hard you know I've worked hard to get to this point so you know accept me as I am or you could keep it trucking on <laughs> you know what I'm saying but um that's just the type of energy I was getting so see that look not with the shits is on the bottom of the deck so you're literally like you're in your bag but for for good reason it's not like you're just being a bee or you're just being you know arrogant it's just like you've been through so much so you like look you letting them know like look it, it, even if somebody doesn't like certain things it's like you want them to you know to to accept it anyway you know because we love is unconditional so it's like you know that's all you're trying to um that's all you're trying to communicate to this person you know what i'm saying so it's very 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 interesting what's coming in so let's go ahead i'm gonna call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit ashe i ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors spirit guides deities animal totems earth mother gaia universe source the divine most high god our creator to shine a powerful message of love and light i call personally upon baba obatala baba shango baba ogun baba orula mama oya mama yemenya baba alegua and mama oshun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards I call also upon Archangel Mikael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel, and Archangel Metatron to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I also call upon Mama Lakshmi, Baba Ganesh, Lord Ganesh, and I call upon Mama Kali to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is for me to be Ashe. And I also call upon Imhotep, Heru, Aset, Sekhmet, Set, Bast, and Ma'at to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is. So may it be Ashe. So look what I said. Love is coming in. New love is coming in. And so you know as you're being courted, as you're getting to know your new love, you're just letting them know, you know, who you are and where you stand. So that's why I was feeling like you was just kind of letting someone know, especially with that last song, um, Don't Make Me Over. So it's like you're letting them know, don't try to come in and change me. That's what that past person did. And they failed miserably at it because I am new and improved. So I know my worth. I know my value. I know what I want. And I know that I am me unconditionally. And if this is too much for you to handle, beloved, keep on moving. You know, right now we have Shaheen playing and this uh is called things happen so yeah some things happen in a form of love ship ship and that's why you're not with the shits that's why you have a guard that's why you have boundaries now you know that and you're not allowing people to cross them because maybe the past person that former love 
um, definitely overstep their boundaries. But you are absolutely ready to love. And I feel like this new person coming in, they're also ready to love. And I feel like, you know, you're being, um, I feel like you're being more daring or you're just, you know, op opening yourself up. You're being more receptive. So that's good. See that? You walked away from a former relationship. It says enough of no love. I know my no my worth now. Bye. So you left that former person. Um, you know that former person that ex because they were not speaking your love language, and you felt like you was pouring into, you know, and you was you was being you know the, your vessel was not being poured into, you know you weren't being fulfilled emotionally. So there is someone that's coming in, and I do feel like this person that's coming in is going to, you know, absolutely fall for you. Um, and they're going to appreciate you. See, this This is what you, This is why you're speaking your truth, like, up front, you know, in the beginning, you know, so as not to allow anyone to misunderstand you. Because maybe in that form of connection, you felt misunderstood, you felt unappreciated, you didn't feel heard. So you're letting this person know, like, look, I don't do well with people who do, you know, who are detached from their emotions, because you know, your love language, you've learned it from that form of person. And so that's why you walked away. So right now we have um, feels so real, won't let go by Patrice Russian. So, yeah, this is going to feel real good. And I feel like not just only, you know, not just to you, but it's going to feel real good for this other person. And they're not walking away from you. They're, they're not, they're not going to let you go, you know, because I feel like they're approaching you because they know that you are um, someone that they want to be with. That last person, you block them. You you release that energy. You know, you've, you've released that energy, that other person because they weren't, you know, they weren't fulfilling you emotionally. And, you know, maybe they were not as... Um, Emotionally intelligent, emotionally available. So what we have on the bottom of the deck, what did I say? This is watching me. So someone is, you know, kind of watching you. Um, it's almost like in, it's in a very, um, like, secret admirer way. And it says, feel so real, won't let go. So, and this is by Patrice Russian. So this person that's watching you is, is feeling these feelings that feel very real. You know, and that's why I was picking up, like, they're not going to be the type to walk away. They're not going to be the type who is, you know, coming in to play around a toy with your heart. They know what they want, you know, and that's why they're watching you because it's like they're, they're, um, they're planning, they're strategizing, they're trying to prepare a way to come in, in a way where it doesn't just sound like somebody else running game, you know, somebody else coming in with with this unthought you know unthought out um <laughs> you know um plan or, or or courting process it's like they're coming in with you know very dapper very debonair um uh, very mature it's like they want to come in and um oh, i'm hearing woo they want to woo you you know but right now it's like they're they're in the background they're kind of just watching and learning um, maybe they're just trying to learn uh, what you like so that they can give it to you so they can so that they can display that in the beginning so that you feel you know some type of um, chemistry as well but you have a secret admirer and they're watching you they're definitely watching you so it says mommy issues daddy issues so maybe this person is um, Maybe they are watching you and they know that maybe some of you all are going through some sort of, you know, um, discourse with the mothers or the fathers of your children, which is why they're just kind of laying in the background, just kind of waiting for you to, you know, sort all of that, all of that out, you know, so that they can not come in and confuse things. But there is a sense that this person does have um, some deep attraction, deep um interest in you. So let's see what's coming in for our beloved Scorpios, Divine Spirit, Eleven Night. What's coming in for our beloved Scorpios? Check the temperature for my beloveds. I hope you all are doing well. I will all is blessed in your lives. So we have happy house, happy spouse. So what did I say? This person ain't coming in to play. They ain't coming to play. You know, and they're learning you right now. So this is someone that could be kind of watching you from the background. Maybe this is someone, this is someone who has access to you because it's like a secret admirer. So either this is someone I'm hearing, someone that you may work with, someone that you may, may not even know they have this affinity towards you, or this can be someone, um, 
that's kind of watching you via social media. Maybe this is someone that is an acquaintance or someone that you've seen in passing. Maybe you ride the train with this person to going to work. Maybe you ride the bus. You know what I'm saying? Like you're, 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 you're bumping into this person by some means. You know, whether it's virtual reality or this physical reality, this person is familiar with you and they, they're obviously watching you. So somebody's watching you and this is someone that can envision some form of a happy house, you know, being in some form of committed relationship, connection. This is the type of person that's um, coming in to add on, like I always say. And when I say that, I mean like this is someone coming in to build. This isn't someone coming in to destroy. So they're not coming in with any secrets. They're not coming in with any baggage. They're not coming in with any toxic behavior. They're very emotionally available because they're looking to make a home a house. And not just any type of house, but a happy house. They're trying to come in and make you a spouse. Not just any type of spouse, but a happy spouse. And I always say, you know, happy house, happy spouse. You know, a lot of people say that happy wife, happy life. And I feel like that's that's imbalanced, you know. In order for the home to be happy, everybody got to be happy, even including the children. You know, happy house, happy spouse. I also should make a card saying something that will incorporate the children. Because the children, too, have to be happy. It can't just be the, the spouse, or the, the husband and the wife, you know, the man and, you know, the, the head of the household's uh being the only ones happy even the, the animals the pets even your plants everything needs to be balanced everything needs to be healthy happy so it says you left me in my darkest time um that betrayal was unbearable so someone was you know uh, abandoned you know someone's love was rejected there was some sort of um unrequited uh love experience either that you went through scorpio or that this other person and maybe this is why you was letting someone know out the gate what you you know what type of time you was on you was like look i don't do well with people who are detached from their emotions <laughs> you know what i'm saying i don't walked away from a love ship there where there was no love you know and you know you know um i don't do you know it, it was just like you was laying it out there and then you had Sybil saying, don't make me over so you was letting them know like look don't come in trying to change me so it's like you you're putting it all out there you know, and I feel like, you know, you're also sharing, you know, what happened. So someone left you in a very dark period in your life. You know, maybe this was a time where you really needed um, someone to lean on and you felt abandoned, you felt betrayed. And this is not just by a lover, but this this is just period. Like there was a dark period where you felt alone. So even you felt some of your friends abandoned you. You felt some of your family didn't step up and console and comfort and help you and support you in the ways that you felt that you always did for them so you went through a very dark period but you have and that's why you're you don't you don't you don't have any patience you know for for anyone coming in and trying to toy with your emotions because you've you've been through enough and that's confirmation the train is going by let's do, let it do what it does and so we have mf doom playing okay let that go again so this is MF Doom and it says all caps. So, you know, cap is, um, you know, that's like a term of, you know, like you, it, it, that's a term now. People be like, you know, no cap. Um, but this one says all cap. So somebody was capping in a form of relation. Everything they said was a lie. Everything they did was, 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 um, was almost like not just a betrayal, but it was just like you did, you couldn't trust them. You know, so they were very manipulative. I'm hearing master at manipulation, you know. It was a master at, at twisting words, at, you know, mind fuckery. Getting people to fall for their, you know, for their shenanigans. Like the great illusionist. Someone who was great at pulling strings and puppeteering and, you know, just doing a lot of deceptive things. That's what she was dealing with. So MF Doom, this person doomed, it was like, it was like doomsday. It felt like a dark period in your life. That's why I was feeling like, you know, in your darkest time, it was, it was like you could have lost loved ones. You could have felt abandoned and not supported. Like, you know, you could have felt like you was like literally, you know, all alone. And so that's what you're sharing with this person. And this person that's coming in, they may already know that because they've been watching you. You know, this may be someone that's a friend, an acquaintance, as I said. You know, somebody that's not as 
much in your circle, but they are very much um, intrigued by what they see. Very interesting. So Divine Spirit, what's coming in for our beloved Scorpios? Divine Spirit, of love and love is coming in. And right now we have um, Jill Scott playing. And it says, show forgiveness, it's for you. So maybe for some of you, it's still a struggle to, you know, to not have or carry, you know, that, that resentment or that animosity towards that past person because you do feel like you was betrayed, you know, maybe for some of you, as I said, even if it's not a lover, even friends, you know, maybe it's, it's still very difficult for you to, you know, let go of the fact that, you know, the people that you had, uh, always been there for the people that you had been very loyal and faithful and, you know, been support systems and loved unconditionally that they would abandon you. And so I feel like, you know, the divine is reminding you that the forgiveness portion of the, you know, of the whole dynamic is on your part. It's for you. You know, forgiveness is always for you because when you carry the animosity and the contentment, then it, it shows up in your body. It breaks things down. It brings on stress, you know, and it blocks blessings. It delays new from coming in. And so the divine is telling you, like, look, show forgiveness because there is someone here that wants to come in and, and treat you right, love you right. And I'm hearing be better, not bitter, be better, not bitter. And this is for some of you, because most of y'all, y'all, y'all are beyond any past situation. Y'all have already, you know, moved on, which is why you have healed, which is why new love is coming in. So there is someone, you know, that definitely is, um, maybe this is, um, you know, the divine's way of saying that once you show forgiveness, once you exhibit that, you know, and maybe you all are showing forgiveness. Maybe you all have humbled yourselves and you have healed to the point where, you know, you're not carrying any contempt or malice in your heart. You know, because Scorpios, when, when we in our dark side, we could be very vindictive we could, we could, we can, boy, we could conjure up some, some, some revenge, boy. We, we can, <laughs> I know because I've been there. Guilty, check. When I was younger, please, don't do me dirty. Because I'm, I, I can think of a gazillion ways. Six million ways to die. Choose one. That was, that was the type of time I was on when I was younger. So, you know, but, you know, as you grow and you evolve, you learn that, you know, revenge is, is, is letting people see you succeed you know, and, and leaving the ass and, and becoming better versions. That's a beautiful way to show revenge opposed to, you know, inflicting it upon somebody and setting and plotting and planning ways to bring them down. I don't even have to do that. I let my angels, ancestors, spirit team do it now, you know. But at the end of the day, I feel like many of you have showed forgiveness. And that's why this new love will be coming in. And um, so with this, I want to hear your voice again. I miss you. This is why I was picking up on the fact that y'all have um, y'all have met somebody in passing. This this is somebody that's familiar with you. This is someone that's familiar. I want to hear your voice again. Maybe this is somebody that watches you online. Maybe they they are tapping and tuning into your social media. If you have TikTok, if you have Instagram, Facebook, you know, if you have a group setting on your Facebook or whatever. I don't have Facebook. I don't have TikTok. I just do YouTube and Instagram. I'm about to, you know, get off of Instagram also. It's just a waste of time. <laughs> but not really, because I need some form of communicating with other, you know, family, friends, because I don't like Facebook, you know. But now that <sighs> certain people have taken on Instagram, I'm just kind of second guessing that platform, but I digress. I'm going into a whole diatribe. But yes, somebody's familiar with you because obviously, if they want to hear your voice again, they've already spoken to you. This could be that past person. You know, this could be those those friends, those frenemies. You know, this, this could be the people that you have since blocked, cut off. They miss you now. Motherfucker don't realize what they had till it's gone. They don't realize how supportive and how loyal and how, you know, how much you cared until they don't have access to you anymore. But I feel like, you know, the divine is saying show forgiveness is for you. But that doesn't mean you got to backtrack, go back to anything, you know, because if somebody shows you who they are, you damn well better believe them. So, ain't nothing changed but you. You know? So, let's see what's happening. What's coming in going out going on. Right now, we have Nas featuring Lauren, um, Lauren Hill. And it's called um, If I Rule the World. 
So if I rule the world, see that? Look at that. So if they rule the world, they would give you everything. I'm hearing that um, Luther Vandross. If this world were mine, I give you the flowers, the birds and the bees. <laughs> I'm all off like key because <laughs> it's too early in the AM to be trying to hit notes. But you know what I mean when I said what I said. This is the love language. Somebody want to come in and they speak in your love language, baby. They grown. This is a grown, mature man, grown, mature woman. They do not play games. And they even telling you here, if I rule the world, imagine that. Like you would have everything. I'll give you the world, you know. And this is also someone that that's also... Um, you know, experiencing some sort of um, completion of a cycle, as are you. Because as I always say, like, I feel like whoever's coming into you, they're going to meet you on your vibration. Because as you change and learn to love yourselves, then you radiate love and you attract people that love themselves as well, that will come in and give you, you know, everything that you've been desiring, you know, because you change your vibration. Look at this. You, you attracting somebody who's grounded, balanced and aligned. Grounded, balanced, the line. I made a song like that recently, so I was just singing the hook. But yeah, this this is this person speaks your love language, which means, beloveds, they are you know gonna be everything that that past person wasn't. So whatever your complaints was, whatever your gripes was with that past person, it's like you, you're not gonna have to worry about that because this person's coming in already with the intention to make you happy. You know, they're already thinking in their head, like, I want to give her the world, you know, I want to give him the world, you know, and it's because they see your value. They said black diamonds and pearls. So they want to give you the world. If I ruled, if I ruled. I love them, love them, baby. Yeah, somebody loves you, and they and, and they they feel like you center them, like you're you you would ground them, you know, because they're looking for somebody who's also grounded, who's also you know in harmony and balance. And I feel like the two of you are mirroring one another, and so that's what he's saying. He's like this person, you know. I feel like a masculine energy is really like they they're coming in. Look at this. Look what's on the TV. This is the type of things y'all are going to do together. Y'all going to take walks on the beach, watch the sunset. You know, all the things that that make you feel loved. You know, they're going to be very attentive, very affectionate. They're going to speak your love language. All the things that past person wasn't. I feel like this is going to be a very grounded connection. Very supportive. You know, this person is going to be very, very good. And we have Beyonce Ego playing featuring Kanye West. So this, 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 um, yeah, I definitely see that. Yeah, enough of no love. I know my worth now, bye. See that? So that's what you walked away from. You walked away from somebody who was too egotistical, too proud to show love. They thought that shit was like, made them effeminate or something to show affection. You know, being, being vulnerable was like, ugh, you know, to this former person, which is why you felt emotionally like bankrupt. Which is why you was like, look, I don't do well with people who are detached with their emotions because you're an emotional being. That is your love language. How can you be with someone who does not communicate effectively on an emotional level if you are a water sign? You know, so this person, it was like they were speaking a foreign language to you. And that's why you had no choice but to like walk away and move away from that. And with this song by Beyonce and um, Kanye West, we now know why they weren't doing it. It's because they were egotistical. You know, this person definitely thought the world revolved around them, you know, and now you have someone coming in who feels like you are the center of their world, who wants to make you happy, who wants to make, you know, the house that you all will share, because that sounds like this person trying to wipe you up. This person is trying to cuff you up if you're a man, you know, they ain't coming into play. Like I said, I feel very good, you know, mature, grown man, grown woman vibes from this this energy of this person, you know, and they're watching you because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to learn, you know, learn your, your, um, learn your, I keep getting tripped up on this word, but you, you have to study, you know, in other words, you got to study whatever it is, um, 
that you are, um, you got to study whoever you're courting. You got to figure out what their likes and dislikes are. You know, they're trying to figure out what kind of flowers you like. She like lotus flowers. She likes sunflowers. What does she like? She's not a rose girl. Maybe she don't like roses. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? This is like the type of energy. Like they're trying to figure you out, trying to figure out what you like. So they're learning you. And that's why I feel like there's, with this watching me, I feel like there's a strong sense that they're watching you virtually via the World Wide Web. Maybe some of you, like I said, have groups. You have discussions. Maybe some of y'all have podcasts. And they're tuning in, tapping in. They like what they see. They love what they hear. And it's like they're attracted to you mentally. You know, they love the way you think. I'm hearing the word sharp. They think you're sharp. They think you're witty. You know? So it's like, and, and funny. You know, you, you know. I'm hearing goofballs. Some of y'all, they feel like you're goofy. You know, and you're comfortable in your own skin. And that's why Sybil was saying, don't make me over. Because I know what I am and who I am. Either you're going to come in and love me unconditionally for me being me unapologetically or you could kick rocks and keep it moving because I'm not I'm not pressed either way and they know that you know but I feel like this person likes that that former person not so much they was very egotistical like I said I'm hearing macho macho man <laughs> what the what is that oh my god is that was that the YMC I don't know who what's macho macho man? but I feel like that's what that person <laughs> If you can hear what I hear in my mind's eye, y'all will be laughing too. But it was just so weird. But it's like this this past person, whoever this is, they had a false sense of masculinity. You know what I'm saying? They had a very false sense of what masculinity was. Because it's like they felt like being vulnerable was effeminate. They felt like, you know, showing how you feel and being sensitive it just, you know, because they was trying to put on this, oh, I am man, you know, beating their chest and shit. And it's like, you got life all fucked up, beloved, you know, but this person coming in, they're grounded, balanced, the line. They're very mature. They're very much comfortable in their skin. So they will be able to, um, you know, vibrate on your frequency. That's, that's beautiful. So let, let me see how many cards I got out now. Two, four, five. I'm going to get seven cards. So I'm going to spirit of love and light. Because seven is my number. I love the number seven. Uh, spirit of love and light. What messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. And so we have protective bubble. Don't disturb my groove. So what did I say? Y'all are very protective of your energy. You're very protective. And you're very much blocking out anything that is not, you know, that's not on your vibration. Like if somebody coming in with some, some sort of distorted uh, perspective of love, then it's like, nah. And we got um, Miss Independent playing by Neo. So someone, you know, definitely knows what type of time it is. You're, you're, you're very much healing. You know, that independent energy is like you're enjoying your peace, your solitude. You know, after you walked away from another relationship, you, you utilize all of your time for healing, for loving yourself, for practicing healthy self-care, self-discipline. And this isn't just Miss Independent, it could be Mr. Independent because maybe some of the masculines have walked away from a partnership from a, for a long time, you know, that they were in for a long time. And now they're independent and they're, you know, they're finding their way and things are flowing beautifully, you know, healing, enjoying life. You know, so this is this is beautiful energy and, and you're very protective of your energy because you're enjoying your peace, your solitude, because you're practicing healthy self-care. You're creating a safe space, a safe haven around you, you know, and somebody's appreciating that because whoever this is, they're watching you and they know that you are very protective of your energy because they know that you've been through a lot. They know that you've experienced a lot. Why? Because they too have gone through what you've gone through because y'all are mirroring one another. And that's why this person is going to come in and know your love language because the way that you've been hurt in a former relationship is the same way that this person has also been hurt and done wrong and done dirty and taken for granted and unappreciated, ultimately. And so we have empath, I feel deeply. So you are very much, you are communicating with this person that's coming in. This person that's watching you, it's like almost like, I feel like there's a strong, like, there's an intuitive bond or some sort of bond, you know, whether it's a soul bond. This could be like past life love connection. But this empath is like who you are because you all have been very like 
very much the caretakers, the nurturers in all of your dynamics, whether it love ships, friendships, um, your family connections. I feel like you were always, you know, the, the fabric, you know, that you were the thread that held that fabric together. So it was like you were very, you know, very intricate in these relationships, these connections. And I feel like it was because of your empathy and because of the compassion that you held. I was also feeling like, you know, that's y'all have been very loyal and faithful to those people. And I feel like you feel very deeply, you know, for people, you have a very caring and loving heart. And I feel like that's another um, characteristic that this person appreciates about you. But you are also very intuitive. So maybe you're picking up on the fact that, you know, you know, somebody's kind of like tuning in, tuning in, tapping in. You could, you could pick up on it, but you're very protective, you know. You're keeping busy, you know, because that's, that's a very healthy way to heal also. Is, you know, because like they always say, like, patience is a form of action. So you've been patiently being active, you know, and, and healing and pro being proactive in moving from a situation that otherwise was very um, painful and traumatic and left you feeling um, sorrowful. You know, very deep, deep sorrow, you know. And so you've created a safe space. You've created a protective bubble. And I feel like you're also, you know, you're, you're very intuitive, you know, and caring and loving and nurturing. And that's something that's very attractive to whoever this person is because they're singing to you and it's independent. So look at that. Love Jones. I got a love Jones for your body and your skin tone. So somebody does have a love Jones. They're very much, it's almost like, you know, like I said, secret admirer vibes. Because look at the watching me on the bottom, you know, on one end. And then you have the love Jones on the other. So it's almost like, yeah. And all that's incorporated in it. And then we have um, Beyonce, yes. So I feel like you're going to say yes when this person comes in. Because this is going to be someone who absolutely is like going to be... They're going to be so much on your frequency that it's just going to feel very familiar, very comfortable. And you're going to say yes. You're going to say yes. If they court you, if they come and ask you out on a date, the divine is also telling you say yes. You know, because I do feel like this person is about to make their, make their way. You know, the, and, and, and some of you, you know, the reason why the divine is reminding you to say yes is because many of you are still you know, still feeling a certain type of way. Maybe you're still healing from that form of betrayal, from being abandoned, from that unrequited love ship that you were, you know, involved in in the past. But the divine is saying you gotta, you got your love language is the center. This is the, you know, heart of the matter. So someone's coming and speaking your love language. So you have to say yes. You have to, you know, be open, be receptive, because someone definitely is gonna take you down a trip, you know take you on a trip down memory lane they're gonna feel very familiar and it's almost like i'm getting those vibes of like you know back in high school you know you have that teenage love kind of situation it was like it, it was just like y'all start dressing again i mean i remember back in the days you know when we were younger like the guys and the girls that were dating they would literally dress alike <laughs> you would always see them together you know it was like yeah that they literally that's where the term homie love a friend because you know back in the days when when i was growing up when you were dating somebody, y'all were very close. It was like that was your friend. That was your best friend. You know what I'm saying? And and your homies didn't try to come in between that. It was like they respected it because they had girlfriends too. And guess what y'all was doing? Y'all was double dating. Y'all was going out to the movies. Y'all was going out to the concerts. Y'all was doing things together. So it was like this is that type of vibe. Sitting back watching DVDs. Not even DVDs. There was VHSs back then. You know, popping in VHS movies and, and, and kicking it and hanging out and just being, you know what I'm saying? Being being free, being in love. And that's what I'm picking up. Like, y'all going to be sitting back Netflix and chilling. You know, it's like this person is going to feel like very familiar. And they're going to make you have butterflies. Like, it's going to be that type of that type of vibration. You know, that type of connection. That's beautiful. I'm here for it. That's, that's good stuff. So let's tap into it and let's get some um, messages from the um tarot of uh sexual magic so what do we have on the bottom of the deck we have the um knave of pentacles see that and so um so what i get from this person is like yeah, i mean ill you know i don't like this you know because this person is trying to like it's like he's trying to get her inebriated so he can have his way with her 
You know, and maybe this is that form of energy. That's what she was walking away from. Because there wasn't enough love. It was just too much of, you know, the toxicity. But see that? Look what that. Mama, my aunt, Lady Justice is here. And we did call upon Mama, my aunt. And so, yeah. So somebody is receiving some sort of karma. You know, somebody's receiving karma for the, may the way that they've behaved, you know. It's like they was taking their weight, you know, taking, because I was picking up, you know, earlier, like I said, somebody was just taking advantage, taking for granted your love, unappreciating you. And this woman looks like she's already drunk. She's not, she ain't even drinking this liquor. It's just spilling down her face. So it was like, he's literally like forcing this drink down her throat, you know, and this is like how many cups? It looks like he's just, you know, and then there's this candle here. So it's almost like maybe there was some sort of um, sexual magic or something. But here goes Mama Ma'at here to set the record straight. To bring in some sort of justice. Things are going to be handled fairly justly. Okay, so there's a card backwards. This is a bonus message. So look at this. The Three of Swords. What did I say? So you discovered somebody was creeping. So I creep. Hey, I just keep it on the down low. So this is what somebody was doing. Somebody was creeping. You found out about it. And not only were they creeping, they were serenading that broad. So all the things they weren't doing for you, you know, and I'm hearing that Joe song. So, um, all I want to do, all the things, the things your man won't do. That's what this person want to do. They want to do all the things this fool wasn't doing. So your past person wasn't serenading you because they were serenading somebody else. And you found out about it, though. You ain't a fool. You, intu you intuitive. So you knew about something. See how he's sitting here? He playing the whole damn violin. Serenading this, this, this uh, mistress here. You know what I'm saying? And if you look, there's black candles. So there's some form of um, sex magic. I feel like somebody was doing some, some sort of ritual work. And with this sword there, there was no communication. There was no shows of love. But look at this. To your dismay, look at her face. Completely surprised, taken aback. You know, you may have walked in on something literally for some of you feminines. Or maybe you just found something hanging around your home that didn't belong to you. Like an earring, a necklace, a, a pair of panties or something. I don't know. Maybe you found a condom, something. And you know it wasn't used on you. Maybe some of y'all found pictures. Maybe you found something online. Whatever it is, you found out somebody was treating somebody else like the, the, the you know, like they was the main chick and while you was getting breadcrumbed. You was getting told, I'm too tired, while they were sitting there laying that pipe down heavy on that next person. Or they was giving, you know, that, that community pee to this other person like all the time. And they would tell you, I'm tired. I got cramps. I'm on my menzies or whatever. But this is, this is what was happening. Three of swords. That's why you were saying, look, I don't do well with people who are detached from their emotions and enough of no love now. Bye. Because you wasn't getting it. Somebody else was. So that's why you walked away. And we have changes I've been going through by Mary J. Blige. So those were the changes. And that's why this person that's watching you is very much familiar, very much aware, you know, that you've had your heart broken. And I feel like this person also has had a very similar um, situation happen in their lives. You know, maybe something identical. I'm hearing identical. And because this was the card flipped back, I feel like that's a bonus message. So we're going to put that right there. But yeah, this is very interesting how this is playing out. You know, and that could also speak to that past person watching you as well, you know, because it says, you know, changes I've been going through. So somebody's going through some sort of changes here. So the last spirit of love and light, let's tap in tune and see what's coming and going out, going on for our beloved Scorpios. We're going to see this. Look at this. What was I saying? Sex magic. Somebody got caught up in some sort of incubus, succubus um, relationship entanglement. Look at this. What was I saying? Look at all that shit. Those are all the makings of a love spell, a binding spell. You got the thread, you got the push pin, you got the needle, you got all of that. The dagger. And then look, she this dude, now he looks intoxicated. And look at this feminine. It's like she's t having her way. So somebody got caught up in an entanglement, you know. And, um, you know, this is what happens when you you creeping. You, gonna, you don't know what you're creeping and sleeping with. But I feel like for you all, though, somebody definitely wants to come in and give you this this love. You know, like I said, that's that happy house, happy spouse energy. This also could allude to, you know, you, you, you making babies, you know. 
you know but you've been through a lot of changes as has you know as this person has also been and i feel like that's why you know the two of you are going to be very well suited for one another because y'all have similar experiences similar situations that have transpired so divine spirit of love and light so look at this this magician is here we got a magician so somebody's manifesting you you know they're trying to change a situation so whatever is going on this also is showing me that 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 past person that was doing all this creeping and sneaking and snooping and you know serving d to everybody or community p to everybody there was a master manifest uh, master manipulator this is somebody who was manipulating energies just saying anything to get what they want doing anything to get what they want very very deceptive creating illusions and I feel like they could be watching you as well. But I also feel on the flip side of that, that this past, you know, this person that's coming in, they're, they're definitely watching and learning you and trying to figure out how to manifest you. They're trying to figure out how to manifest you back. See the Six of Pentacles? This is showing me that, you know, a former person, this is why you was feeling like, you know, enough of no love. Because this person coming in after late night, you sitting here crying your eyes out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you know this person has been biting into forbidden fruit. You know? And you sitting here crying. And, and, and you know, this is almost like that Adam and Eve energy. This person sneaking around. And this is that Jezebel energy. And they going, you know, going to get, going to get uh, their business handled, if you will. You know? Maybe this is what your person walked in on. You know? Walked in on something that took place. And we have nuclear war by Sun Ra. So yeah, th this is definitely the 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 plot thickens because this 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 felt like a war. So you was warring with this person. Y'all were at war. Y'all were, you know, um, honestly, like there was a lot of arguments, fights. I'm hearing screaming matches, um, a lot of conflict, a lot of tension, and that's why he creeping in the house. You know, the Six of Pentacles, breadcrumbing you along because he was so busy. You know serenading somebody else giving to someone else and you knew you know intuitively you knew you know because that empath card showed up so empathically intuitively you you picked up on the fact that your person wasn't being faithful wasn't being loyal and it's because they were biting into this forbidden fruit here this apple reminds me of the adam and eve story so someone got caught up in some sort of incubus succubus um relationship connection and this past person is watching you, but I feel like there's a new person manifesting you because they know that you have been hurt, you have been betrayed, you have been deceived, and someone wants to come in now and they want to, they want to be generous. They want to offer you love, you know, because they know you've been to war already, and they know you deserve to have, you know, this this happiness. You know, you, they want to bring happiness into you. So let's see why is this happy house, happy spouse here for Scorpios? Why is happy house, happy spouse? Thank you, spirit. See that? You got the devil here. So this person is sexually attracted to you. This is also, you know, speaking and veg veggie backing on, you know, the energy of who you was dealing with in the past. This person that broke your heart. Look what he's doing. You know, so this person, this new person wants to snuff out this devil. You know what I'm saying? Because this person was in a partnership as well and found out somebody else was giving it to their woman. That's why I said y'all are mirroring. Look how the energy is the same. Two men. And one woman, so this is the masculine's energy, what they experience. And then here, two women and one man. So the both of you, like I said, mirroring a situation. Y'all were mirroring, y'all went through similar experiences, I should say, where both of you were betrayed, deceived, cheated on, lied to. And so this person now, they're interested in giving and having, you know, a happy um, home because their home was destroyed by another man. And you see the dismay on his face, same as the dismay on hers. You know, on this feminine's face, look at hers in the background. Her mouth is open like, what the, f you know what I'm saying? And then his face is like, and he's he's trying to figure out ways to snuff this masculine out. You know, whereas you're, you, you look more so like, I don't, you know, it's just like you're, you're just, you know, kind of lost within words. You don't know what to say, but I feel like this person that's coming in, um, they're absolutely wanting to have a more peaceful um, environment, you know, a home. They want to make their house a home. 
because they've been at war. They've been warring with their ex the same as you. And so we have here the um, Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles is here. So it looks like, yeah. So you see how this man is like he's trying to unbutton her, her, um, her bra while she's resting. So someone really was taking um, advantage, you know, trying to take advantage of you. You know, really not appreciating your value, not appreciating your worth. And with this song, Nuclear War, this is what, you know, led to, you know, some some really so like a tower moment, you know, an upheaval because this person definitely was taking you for, you know, taking advantage of you, wasn't appreciating what you brought to the table. And so we have here strength. And so because you have taken your power back and you are standing in your power, now you're attracting someone that's going to speak your love language because you're no longer being docile in a relationship you're no longer just being passive you know trying to appease and please you're you're now in your strength you found your backbone you're speaking your truth and that's why i was picking up in the beginning of the um reading was like you know with that song by sybil don't make me over it's like you letting people know out the gate the type of time you're on what you will and won't accept you know, and so here this shows, you know, the power and the strength that you are exhibiting right now, you know, and when you exhibit this power, um, this 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 radiates a sense of confidence, uh, self love, uh, knowing your worth, uh, in addition to you being strong, you know, nobody is attracted to someone docile, and so that forty six forty six on the clock right now is you know. Definitely confirming that 1010 energy. So, you know, you've taken your power back from a former relationship, from a former connection, from someone who was, you know, taking you for granted and using you, you know, because this is somebody taking you for granted. And that's who the divine is telling you to show forgiveness for, you know, show forgiveness for this person that has, you know, literally could have been just using you for money, for sex, you know. Very interesting here. So it says enough of no love. I know my worth now. Bye. And now we have the four of swords. See this? And in all of these cards, it's like the feminine energy is very passive. You know, especially when it comes to, you know, speaking of this past person and the dynamic. And we already know that's what you walked away from. So you know that this wasn't love. He looks like he's feeding her something now. Now he looks like he's shoving something in her face. Look how he's holding her head back. And it's like, why isn't she feeding herself? Why isn't she drinking her own drinks? And it was just 47, 47. So that's 11, 11. So I feel like, you know, with this energy here. I'm just looking at the card for some more energy here. So this is what I'm seeing now. I'm seeing it also in a, in, in a different light. I feel like this other person, um, you know, this other person that's coming in, it's almost like, you know, she, he's he's feeding her. It's like, you know, almost like because she's so out of it. Because it says enough of no love now, bye. You know, so it's like, you know, you're still, you're still recovering. You're still healing. But I feel like somebody's coming in and it's almost like he's trying to, get you to drink, get you to eat, get you to, you know, have, um, you know, the nutrients that maybe you, you were depleted from receiving in that form of relationship. So it's like, he's coming in and he's, you know, going to be more attentive. So I'm, I'm getting the, the, the feeling that this person being more attentive because now this is the four of swords. So this is someone coming in after, you know, the heartbreak. And this is a different person, you know, from this, this, this masculine here. So this person is coming in now with the Four of Swords, and this person is um, this person's coming in with the intent to kind of heal, help you heal. They're giving you the nutrients you need. And we have um, Black Sheep. And so this is like somebody, you know, who knows you were misunderstood, who, who can understand because they were 
Mr. Understood or Mrs. Understood. Like they know, they know the feeling. That's why he's coming in because I was getting the word attentive, you know. I was getting the feeling that somebody's coming in attentive, you know. And because this person speaks your love language, they know what you need. So you need someone to tend to your needs now because you've always been the one, you know, tending to everyone else. So it says if he's like being more, he's being more attentive, more affectionate. He's ex exhibiting, you know, the love language. And he's helping you to build your strength, you know. And so we have here the Knight of Wands. See that? This is what that former person was doing. They was, you know, off, you know, not not committing, not willing to commit, not looking for commitment, but, you know, liking to be in and out, flighty. This is a very passionate energy, but this is someone who likes to, you know, they like to go wherever the wind blows them, you know. They don't like to be bolted down in a relationship. They like to come and go as they please. So they was trying to have their cake and eat it too. So they loved, you know, have them the freedom to to just be out there and 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 uh meet different women court different women and maybe this is like i said you know someone that some of you may have confided in another person and this person is kind of building you up building your strength up so this is showing the story like the, this person here broke your heart you know maybe somebody's coming in quickly to come to your aid or maybe this is you just taking action and riding off in the sunset with this person in a passionate new new relationship, you know. But we shall see. Let's see what's going on. Why is this protective bubble here? Thank you, spirit. And so we have the high priestess. See that? <laughs> I love this. I love it. <laughs> this is what you did. Your, your higher self, your intuition told you it's time for you to go within. It's time for you to heal, you know. And this high priestess is very intuitive. And so, as I said, you knew, you know, that a situation wasn't serving you because you, you discovered somebody was definitely creeping, you know, and, and you may have felt, um, that, you know, that betrayal initially, but you could see here she's holding scissors. So now you know to, you know, cut out what no longer serves you to get rid of the things that do not honor your um, best interest. Some of you may have a cat. Some of you may have a kitten. Some of you may have white cats, black cats, gray cats. I'm hearing the word tabs. Some of you may have tabs, but I do feel like, you know, for many of you, you you did a release ceremony for this past person. You know, you listened to your intuition and trusted it. And it definitely revealed to you that someone was being unfaithful. And so, you know, for that, that's that's what you needed to do with the black sheep. You you very well felt you know, misunderstood, misunder Mr. Understood, you felt unappreciated. But I feel like, you know, this doesn't take away the fact that you are a high priestess, which means that you know what's best for you to do. And so what you did was you, you, you protected your space, your time, your energy. You cut this person off and out of your life. And that's why you've made room for someone new to come in. But you are the high priestess, so you're highly intuitive very much um, on the frequency and vibration. And you have Jill Scott playing, Do You Remember Me? And we're about to clarify the uh, Love Jones card. And we have the Five of Wands. So with this Five of Wands here, I definitely feel like, you know, this person that's coming in is going to compete for your time and energy. And as I said, this has been somebody that's been watching you because watching me is on the end, you know, the other end, the opposite side. And... This is someone who has been watching you. They've been kind of, they're familiar with your story. They're familiar with your situation to some degree. Familiar with your, um, for your, you know, with your relationship status and what happened, you know, because we have here the six of chalices underneath that. And then we have the four of wands. And then we have, um, you know, this nine of swords right underneath that. So the interesting thing what I'm seeing here is like it's almost as if, you know, you were kind of like reminiscing on someone. Because, you know, the song Do You Remember Me by Jill Scott is playing. And so it's like you're going back in time. So you're having some sort of nostalgic memories of someone and maybe of someone that may have left you. For masculines, you're watching, you know, the same way she's watching this, 
you know, man and woman. This could be memories or this could be you seeing, um, you know, that memory of your person, you know, literally having intimacy or being intimate or getting caught cheating and creeping with someone else. And you're having these nostalgic thoughts about that situation. Someone else is also, um, you know, experiencing that as well. They're also kind of, you know, they caught someone in the act. And so it's like y'all are mirroring whoever this is. They're, they're mirroring you. And that's why do you remember me? Because I feel like as I said before with this love Jones, it's almost like you're going to feel like you've known this person, you know, because they're going to feel very familiar. You know, it's almost like you're going to have like almost like that. Um, it's just going to feel very like a teenage love, you know, don't don't hurt me again. Don't don't. It's going to feel very much like this person's coming in to court you to woo you. And it's, it's going to just feel so good because you two have been through similar situations, you know, and the six and five reduced to 11. So this could be like a spiritual union. And that could be why y'all are coming into union. And if you look there, there are two doves here, you know, so it's almost like the divine is, you know, kind of leading this person to you, you know, and maybe as I said, you may be, you know, this may be an acquaintance. Because do you remember me? That could be literally how they open up the conversation. Like, do you remember me? I used to live on such and such block, you know. We used to ride the two train together. We used to work at such and such together. It's almost like that familiar energy. And with Love Jones, I just feel like there's that is speaking to some nostalgia that you share with this person. But let's let's get the messages. Divine Spirit. Why is Love Jones here, Divine Spirit? Why is Love Jones here for our beloved Scorpios? Thank you, Spirit. So we have two cards here. And so we have the uh, Three of Chalices. See, I can't make this up. So the Three of Chalices, there's a reunion. There's someone returning. This is someone you know. I don't know if you all have been intimate, but we have the Ten of Swords here also. So what was I saying about you all? You know, this person, see this? The Ten of Swords. Betrayal, abandonment. And look, look. You see what's going on in the background? She's seeing something. She's she. So this person is coming in to kind of like pour into your cup. They're pouring into your cup. This person has been betrayed and hurt also. They know that you've been hurt. They know that you've been betrayed. They know that you've gone through very serious, um, you know, through through heartbreak, you know. They know that you were done wrong, but they also know that you've learned from that because that Ten of Swords reduces to the Ace. And this is why there's no communication. This is why they're kind of apprehensive about coming in because they're trying to make sure when they do come in that you're not going to feel like they're just another person coming and playing games. But I also feel like this person has also experienced some sort of completion of a cycle. They're waiting for you to complete this cycle because maybe they can sense that you're still hurt, you know? Maybe this person can sense that there's still, um, you know, some pain that you are, you know, working through. You're still healing, you know. And as I said, if somebody is, you know, watching you, then, you know, they can probably like they, they can pick up on your tone uh, via whatever memes you're posting, whatever posts you are posting. So it's like they're they can tell if you're still you're in a space of hurt. And that's why the divine is saying show forgiveness. Because, you know, this new person coming in, they ain't going to take advantage of you like the last person. And this is somebody I feel like there is, it's almost like a reunion. You know, and it's 5858. And that's 1313, which is 4. So that 4-4, four, four, that's definitely, you know, the vibration of, you know, yin-yang energy. Because the four is like the eleven eleven, you know, um, vibration. But if we want to get into eight, this could also speak to like, you know, a wish fulfillment. You know, a wish fulfillment. Someone that you've like almost prayed for, you know, asked for. Somebody to be emotionally attentive, affectionate. Who's going to please you, mind, body, and soul. And then we have Kendrick Lamar, 
for sale plane, you know? And I'm hearing the, the term um, love don't cost a thing, you know? So it's not going to cost anything for this person to love you. You know what I'm saying? So for some of you masculines, you're going to know whether or not this feminine is really into you because she's not going to have these high expectations, you know? And for, you know, math, uh, feminines, you're not going to feel like you have to give up, you know, some loving to get, to get loving. You know, you don't have to give to get. You're not going to feel like, you know, you're going to have to give up the, 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 the goods, you know? Because this person is going to love you. You know, love don't cost a thing. And so we have here temperance. So the divine is, is working this out, sorting this out behind the scenes. Good things take time to create. And obviously, it's taken a little longer because some of you are still, you know, mourning this betrayal. You know, you had your hopes up high. Your cup was spilled. You discovered someone was betraying your trust. There's no communication between you and this person because you had to cut their asses off. And rightfully so. But the divine is saying, beloved, something so much so something so much more better and beautiful is, is coming in. Oh wow, this is gorgeous. And you got marriage. And you got that king of chalices here. And it's your karma. So it's your karma for everything that you've experienced. I'm seeing the temperance, the hangman. I'm seeing the judgment card here. I'm seeing the hierophant. So I'm strongly feeling like some of y'all already know this person, especially with this three of cups. Because that's usually like that. Reunited and it feels so good. So it's like you're reunited with somebody. And maybe there's somebody you never even looked at like that. But they're just going to come in and it's like they're completely different from what you remember them as. You know? But let's get some messages from Kipper. And then we're going to pull a couple of tarot messages and, um, I mean, oracle messages, and then we're going to wrap up. Yeah, but love don't cost a thing. You know, love is free. You know, so, so you know, you shouldn't feel compelled to just appease people and give them sex or buy them things just to try to, to um, you know, to, to court them. That shouldn't be a necessity. You know, a woman isn't going to break your pockets if she's into you, fellas. You know, and a man ain't going to ask you for booty the second time you meet it. So if you have those type of red flags, run. <laughs> but this person that's coming in, they're intelligent. They're emotionally intelligent. And I heard the word attentive. You know, they're protective. You know, so. So something has definitely died. Something has ended dead stinking and buried somebody sees you as a uh, divine feminine my cards are flipping all over the place and so we have sexy here playing by mary j blige so yeah they definitely like what they see they find you to be very attractive sexy sensual they appreciate all the things this past person didn't appreciate that's why i was hearing that joe song uh i wanna Give it something. How does it go? Do the things, all the things, things you now won't do. So look at the cards that just flew out. We're going to take these. So we have the lovers. We have high, high honor. And we have expectation. So the lovers is falling under the watching me, the three of swords, and the magician. The high honor is falling beneath the happy house, happy spouse, and the devil. And the expectations is falling beneath the show forgiveness is for you and the four of pentacles. So with this lovers, what did I say? This person's manifesting you. Because this person has also, you know, gone through some things. And this is that vibration of six, which is a harm harmonious connection, a spiritual union. This is something that was preordained, I feel like, because this these two people are set in stone. You know, so it's almost like it was written for the two of you to come into union, for the two of you to have whatever experience you had in those former relationships and connections. And that's why this person is watching you, studying you, because they're trying to figure out how to come in and court you. 
This is like a partnership, a union. This person is uh, thinking about marriage. The lovers is definitely the opposite of the devil. You know, so this person is, and you can see these beautiful, those same um, doves. So this is like um, someone who wants, you know, they believe in love. You know, they believe in courtship. They believe in, you know, marriage. And they definitely feel like you're the yang to their yin, the yin to their yang. But the, the two of you have been mirroring one another and going through similar experiences. And this person now is ready and prepared to come in. And they find you to be very sexy because we have Mary J. Blige um, playing sexy. So, you know, through them watching you, through them seeing, um, you know, your posts, through them watching, you know, if you make videos, if you have groups, through them just sitting back and observing, you know, um, they're, they're drawing more attractive you know, attracted to you. They're, they're, it's becoming more um, obvious to them that their feelings are deeper, you know, and I feel like they're ready to come in and, and, and make a move. Um, and with this uh, high honors here, this is speaking to marriage. So what was I saying with that happy house, happy spouse? Like this person's coming in and they ain't coming into play. They're coming in because they can envision commitment. They can envision building a legacy, a family. They can envision, you know, that happily ever after with you. And I feel like intuitively you could be picking up on this as well. This 25, you know, maybe this person's communicating to you via your dreams. You're having lucid dreaming. Maybe somebody that you, you know, you, is literally trying to send you messages, you know, Maybe this person is uh, born in the seventh month, you know, in July. Maybe this person is, um, for some of you, this person, you could be 25. Maybe you're born on 11-7. But I'm feeling like, you know, for this, this energy, it also speaks to, you know, someone defeating something because it looks like these people are you know at war and it says high honor and then with this devil here so it's almost like the both of you have um you've completed you know these karmic lessons you know because when you're attached to the devil that's like that dark side going through a dark night of the soul journey you know going when you're with a karmic they're in your lives to teach you lessons so it's almost like that teacher you know teacher learner dynamic so you are a student when you were dealing with this person as was this person and I feel like you both have graduated with high honors it's almost as if you all have um, achieved some sort of goal and now there's this opportunity for the two of you um, to recapture something to come into some sort of healthy relationship and we have Tidra Moses backstroke and if you look you know it's like yeah backstroke so the backstroke is like going, you know, it's like when you're swimming, that backstroke is like going, you, you're swimming backwards. And so I feel like, no, this, this, you know, this person doesn't, they're not doing that. Maybe they feel like that's what they was doing with this former person is like, you know, they was going backwards. Every time they made, tried to, to make a move forward, it was like 20 steps backwards. And so now they're, they're seeking, you know, to have more, a more, um, healthier dynamic and I feel like they feel this connection with you could absolutely help them to achieve that and so with this show forgiveness is for you this is you know because you had some high expectations of this relationship of this connection but you was dealing with somebody who was just taking you for granted using you for sex using you for money you know what I'm saying and you were very open to this person you just you know kind of I don't want to say you just kind of like appease to please, but it was almost similar to that. It was like you didn't get anything from this, you know. All you got was heartbreak, heartache. But you could see that you were able to, you know, bounce back quite beautifully because you still have, you know, you still look to be, you know, very abundant and successful. So I feel like you, you really worked hard on just kind of healing and growing. But you do reflect back to that situation from time to time. Because there was so much betrayal and so much hurt. But you see now, you know, um, you know, through looking back in awareness, you're able to, you know, see some of the errors that you made. And so that 28 reduces to 10. So that's what helped you to make the decision to walk away. See that main female. So this was your energy. You were the main female and you had to 
stand erect. You had to stand in your power. More importantly, you had to take your power back from someone who was trying to overpower you and control you. This was an energy that was kind of like, you know, every every step you tried to take forward, it was like they would do things to, it was like they were sabotaging the situation. And it was because they was like, you know, they weren't invested. They weren't committed. So they didn't care either way. How it affected the household, how it impacted you because they could just run off somewhere else and spend time elsewhere until the coast clears, then they come back. And that's literally what it looks like with this Four of Pentacles energy, just kind of breadcrumbing, giving bits and pieces, even though you had these high expectations, you had marriage, um, marriage, you know, see that? Because you could see like a church. So it's like you had this vision of marrying this person. You could have been engaged. Y'all could have been married. But it's like you had this expectation of marriage. You had this expectation of, you know, you and this person coming into some sort of committed partnership union because you've planted seeds with this person. Obviously, y'all live together, you know, but um, <clears throat> it just didn't turn out that way. So as this main female, you had to, you know, you had to keep it pushing. You had to be in your power and you had to love yourself because love language also speaks to learning to love yourself. You know, when you're healing, you learn to heal. And in healing yourself, you learn love. Loving yourself is a form of, you know, um, self-love makes you more attractive, is what I was trying to say. So, why is love language and strength card here for our beloved Scorpios? Why is the love language and strength card here? Thank you, Spirit. See that? Concern. So now somebody's concerned because you've taken your power back. You know, they were so used to controlling you. They were so used to manipulating situations, monopolizing situations, sabotaging. And you finally looked at that devil in the eye and rebuked it. You know, you challenged him back. You know, and this 33, that six is throwing them off balance because they weren't used to that. But I feel like because you literally, you know, let them know, like, look. You know, enough of no love. I'm tired of this situation. Now someone's concerned because now they feel imbalanced. Now they feel like, damn, like, you know, what am I going to do if I don't have Scorpio to lean on? What am I going to do if I don't have, you know, Scorpio to turn to? And we have too short the ghetto. So a lot of you moved away. You you know, that could have been the concerning news was like, look, um, I'm moving. <laughs> I'm leaving on the next train. I don't know when I'll be back again. That's literally what you said. You moved away so that you can, you know, find your peace and your solitude. You know, get back to you, you know, and not be so focused on this person, this relationship, thinking heavily about what wasn't. You started to, you know, focus on your future. And this is why I feel like this person was is being more attentive to your needs because they know you're healing. They know that there's still... A sense of like pain and hurt and they just kind of want to be there for you they want to support you and that's the positive change that you're making but I feel like through you moving relocating even letting someone go energetically emotionally just time you know freeing up you know that which bound you to that person is kind of bringing you into uh, harmony into balance it's a positive change that was necessary it's a positive change uh, that's taking place and I also feel like the change is um, when you reach, you know, that place of contentment, you're going to find that, you know, there's someone that will be attentive to your needs because you're communicating that, you know, you, you, you are one who needs someone to be attentive, to be affectionate, supportive, you know, protective even. You know, this masculine is very protective. And I feel you are going to be protective of them as well. And so with enough of no love, I know my worth now, bye. And then we have this um, four of swords here. And we got the change. That, that's just speaking to, you know, the healing process that's taking place. You learning to trust again, slowly but surely. You slowly, you know, being more open and letting your guard down. You know, finding that emotional balance. And also, you know, taking onus and accountability from anything that may have happened in the past seeing the red flags and moving on knowing what not to do moving forward so you're making the necessary changes or you've made them already okay i can't take 4555 cards okay so why is enough of no love i know my worth now by here 
Thank you, Spirit. There we go. See that message? So there's going to be some sort of um, message of love. I feel like that person that's watching you is going to, you know, they're going to take that chance. They're going to make that move. And they're going to send you a very heartfelt message. It's going to, you're going to feel elated, you know, because you're going to feel like this person is absolutely, you know, kind of hitting those points, you know, kind of showing you, you know, this is a very, um, a very beautiful display of maturity by somebody actually taking the time to either pen you a letter, you know, hand write a letter or even email a letter or even just call and tell you how they're feeling, text you a message. I mean, like this person is going to communicate something to you. I feel like right now, you know, there there's no communication because that sword is down. And so it's like, you know, they're finally going to make the decision to do it. And I do feel like because this is the seven and it's 25 high honors is the seven. This is that person that's going to become like, you know, someone very significant in your life. I feel like the two of you are truly going to be um, in a very serious partnership, marriage, commitment. You know, this it's leading to that. And so look at this main female. They feel like you are someone that can match their fly. They feel that you are very stable, very, um, very independent, you know, and they, and they're attracted to that. They're attracted to your strength. They're attracted to, you know, the fact that you are unique, beautiful, an earth angel, rare, you know, they could see how much of a blessing you are. They could appreciate who you are and they're going to finally make a move to communicate. They're going to come out of that watching you're going to come out of, you know, being that I spy and being a secret admirer to now, you know, communicating and expressing these feelings. And that's why I was picking up attentive because they're going to be more attentive. So why is this protective um, bubble? Don't disturb my groove and the high priestess here and we have house. So you have definitely discovered there was some secrets going on right underneath your roof, you know. And I feel like, you know, intuitively you knew that. Deep down, you felt that. But I feel like, you know, you kind of like was turning a blind eye to a lot of things. But I feel like once you found out what was happening, um, a lot of you moved out of that home. A lot of you cut that person off and you created, like I said, a very um, protective bubble and safe space for yourself. And we have the Heath uh, Brothers. And this is called... Um, I have no idea what this is called. Oh, it says illusion. Illusion. Oh, beautiful. So the Heath brothers, illusion. And so, yeah, you discovered that there was a lot of um, secrets, lies, illusions. You know, there was a distortion of the truth, you know. And this house to the, you know, to everyone on the outside looking in, it looked like everything was well kept. It was beautiful, well taken care of, you know, happy house. But, you know, underneath the surface, you know, there was a lot of devil, devilishment going on. There was a lot of lies, trickery, deception, cheating, stealing. You know, there was even abuse, physical, mental, emotional, you know. And I feel like, you know, as this high priestess, uh, you discovered those truths because you carry the, you know, you carry ancient wisdom in your DNA. It's in your DNA. And so you're, you're innately intuitive. You're an innately clairvoyant. You're an innately psychic. And that's why you're very protective of your energy because people you've trusted, you know, even if this isn't a lover, even if these are friends that you discovered were betraying you, stealing from you, lying on you, gossiping about you, you know, it's like you discovered everything that was taking place right underneath your nose. And so with those scissors that the high priestess is carrying, you cut that shit off. Some of you discovered you had some co-workers, some peers, a supervisor that was gunning for you. I feel like also a lot of you just kind of like lost yourselves in your work. You know, you kind of just stayed busy, kept your eyes on the prize. You know, you just kind of like started honing skills, mastering your craft, sharpening your sword. 
and you were just very protective of whatever you were creating because you know that the divinity of the divine feminine, divine masculine is what? Creating. So you just got more creative. You just started working more on yourselves. I also feel like someone could have met another person at their jobs because we all know we spend most of our times at our places of employment. And so someone just kind of like got just kind of like got into a routine where it went from, you know, sitting down talking at lunch to going out to eat at lunch to going out after work to going over to their house and then bam bam bam, you know, like don't take much, but it also, you know, requires people to have restraint. You have to have some self-respect. You have to have some dignity. And I feel like, you know, somebody was in their low vibration and they got caught up with somebody at their occupation. So why is, um, for some of you, this is saying that some of you know this person maybe from an old job, you know, that you were working, that you worked at, or maybe at your current place of employment. You know, it's a lot of different scenarios. So why is um, Netflix here? I feel like this person, may, it, it very well could be somebody. That's why it felt it was feeling like a familiar energy with that Three of Cups. Like, you may have met this person in passing. You know, like, you know, you may not have paid, paid much attention. We got the message of concern, that 14. So that was the changes with that Ten of Swords. So that Ten of Swords, you got a message of concern. You found something out. You know, somebody abandoned you, re rejected you because that five. Oh, excuse me. That five can, you know, speak to the five of cups energy and vibration, the five of wands energy and vibration where there was competition, where somebody abandoned you, left you for somebody else. And, you know, you received that message of concern. It was like, you know, unrequited love. Somebody, you know, sending you a dear John, dear, um, dear John, dear Jill letter, whatever, you know, telling you, look, baby, this ain't going to work out. You know what I'm saying? And this, this this broke your spirit. This broke your heart. Because you were, you know, initially y'all were building this home. You thought that this was going to lead to that happy house, this happy spouse energy. And unfortunately, this person, like, just, just backstabbed you, betrayed you. And they fell into lust with someone else. And then they're going to find out that that false person, you know, was just bamboozling them. So it's like... This is the karma dharma here. This is things going around, you know, right back. You know, it's like that boomerang effect where, you know, what you throw out there, you better trust and believe it's going to come back. So whoever broke your heart and sent you that dear John, dear Jill letter, they're connected to a false person. You know, this is somebody who was very deceptive. And we see that with this devil energy because when you vibrate that low you're only dealing with incubus succubus energy which means that they too are low vibrational and toxic as hell and so your person has discovered that who they left you for abandoned you for rejected your love for is a false person was wearing a mask as well same as them you know so they was given to all these people outside of the relationship meanwhile you was the divine feminine you was the divine masculine so, why is this Three of Cups here in Love Jones? Why is the Three of Cups here? Why is this Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? The Scorpios. Oh my God. So, what did I say? Occupation is the only card that showed in the upright. Only card that showed in the upright. All others fell face down, and I'm not taking them. So, we got the occupation. Some of y'all met this person at work. And it's the number 30 feet four. So that reduces the seven again. It goes that seven vibration. I feel like y'all communicate telepathically, intuitively. You know this person from work. That's why this three of cups is here. Because it's almost like you're going to be reunited with someone that you never knew was digging on you. Or maybe you did know. Maybe y'all, you know, did have conversations here and there. Maybe you guys did spark some sort of a situation. But it just didn't take off. You know, and with Teddy Pendergrass, close the door. I feel like they're waiting for you to close the door of your past so that they can come in. Because new things can't come in if you're still attached and, and bound to, the to you know, the past. But this is, I, for some of y'all, strongly I'm feeling like this is somebody you know from your past. So you got to close the door to your past. You got to literally let it go. We got courthouse. Some of y'all need to go through with that divorce. 
Some of y'all need to finalize that divorce so that this person can't come in. Because the divine is not going to start something new if you ain't in something old. You know, and this person is in your energy. This is, I feel like there is memories. Like, so with this Love Jones and that nostalgic energy, this is someone you have some sort of memories with. So y'all could have had conversations. Y'all could have kicked it. Y'all could have, you know, but this is not somebody like coming into play. So, you know, I don't know. Like, so you, you, this person's coming in to, to like literally like make something happen. So we got teaching and learning on the bottom of the deck on the split. We have love. So someone was teaching you, and I'm hearing that song by Music Soul Child. Teach me how to love. Show me the way to surrender my heart. Girl, I'm so lost. So that's what, like, you, you, you know, and, and that's what you was doing. You was going through some sort of relationship with someone who could not communicate love. They didn't know how to express love. You know, they were kind of reserved when it came to love. You know, kind of closed mouthed. They didn't really express love. And so you had to learn your love language. You could not be with somebody that could not emote. You know, not with you. So like I was saying, y'all are highly intuitive. Very, very much intuitive. Trust your intuition. And I also feel someone's communicating to you intuitively, telepathically. Or you may even be seeing this person in your dreams. Or they could be seeing you in their dreams. The divine spirit of love and light. What messages you have for us? Like Scorpios. This is the numerology deck. Let's go ahead, tap and tune in. All right, spirit. Let's see what we got. Divine spirit. So we have karmic completion. What did I say? This person is waiting for you to complete this cycle, and we close the door. I feel like you know you. you many of you have already completed the cycle maybe your person is completing a cycle and needed to end things you know because they have received some sort of message of concern so they're kind of healing going through the same process that you have had to go through but karmic completion this is the end of a cycle learning valuable lessons that's why that teaching and learning was there along with love someone someone was learning how to love in um a healthy way you know, needing to learn how to love or express love, you know, emote, be attentive, be available. That's what you learn from. You learn from someone who did not exhibit those characteristics, someone who was not emotionally intelligent, nor were they emotionally available. So it taught you how to express your needs, how to communicate what you needed. And it also taught you your love language in terms of what you knew you wanted, you know, so that you could set you know, boundaries from those who try to overstep it. So, divine spirit of loving life. Thank you, spirit. That was fast. So, we have effort. So, someone wasn't making the effort, but someone knew will. This 13 speaks to, you know, then um, breaks down to four. And four is all about balance. Four also represents the heart chakra. So, someone wasn't making the effort to show love, to express love, to give love. And I feel like by them not doing that, it strengthened you because it taught you how to love yourselves. And it also taught you that you needed to close the door on anyone who is not showing love, who was not filling your cup, who was not expressing or emoting love in the ways that made you feel fulfilled. So with close the door, that's what you did. Karmic completion, you ended it. You walked away. Even though you had high expectations, some of you, this is someone you were building a home planting roots, planting seeds with. This may be the mother, father of your child. But you had to find stability. You had to stand alone. You had to be independent. Because someone wasn't making the effort. And you mustered up the courage and the strength to do so. And so you had to be crafty and creative in doing this. But I feel like you did. See that? Personal growth. Many of you have grown beyond that relationship and that connection. And whatever isn't growing is dead. So I feel like within your relationship, it simply wasn't growing. It was dead. It was stuck in a time where things, you know, have since passed, you know. That's where this person is. It's like if someone is still the same person when you met them, and if you met them 10, 15, 20 years ago, and they're the same exact person, then they just wasted 20 years, 30 years of their life, 10, 15, 20 years of their life while you are growing and ascending. So you're literally on a vibration, you know, that differs from where they are. So that's why there was this imbalance. That's why they were out looking for other low vibrational succubus, toxic energy, because that's what made them feel 
superior and in control. They couldn't control you because you were vibrating too damn high. You know, and instead of them wanting to reach your level, they was trying to bring you down to theirs. So what we have here is moderation. So this is what you all did. Y'all made the necessary changes, moderations, you know. This is like alterations. This is about the change. And you change. And these are all orange in the center. And this is the, the color of the sacral. So that speaks to, you know, that energy of, you know, not only creation, but this is also about, you know, healthy self-care. You know, knowing your worth, knowing your value, embracing, you know, your beauty, your, your, your self-confidence. It's like sensuality, sexuality. This is moving to the beat of your drum, focusing on your dreams, your desires, your wants. Things were very gray, grim, gloomy, very dark, you know, and I feel like it's because that person was just, you know, very low vibrational. I have this song here by um, Cool Keith, and it was a very over, it was like a lot of sexual overtones in that song, breathing heavy. And um, so that's what this person was caught up in. They was caught up in incubus, succubus energy. And that's why you had to detach from that energy. And I, I see scissors several times in these, um, you know, the sexual tarot. So I feel like that, that that's just alluding to the fact of you cutting that person off. You know, that was a karmic lesson and karmic person. And you had to cut them off literally. But you've made the necessary changes. And that's what's leading to growth. And there goes that seven. So this person that's coming in, you got 34 occupation, you got 34 high honors. So this person that's coming in, I do feel like they are um, also going through some sort of, you know, uh, dark night of the soul journey. And they have been growing as well. And they're going to come in better suited for you. And so this is beautiful. So personal growth, the divine sees and notices the transformations, the evolution, the ascension, and they are very pleased with you. So that is beautiful. So let's go ahead and spirit of love and light. Get some messages from goddess guidance. Bottom of the deck, we have God and children, and then we have sacred space. So many of you, you know, definitely could be, you know, focused on your children being the great mothers and fathers to your children that you always are. I'm seeing this Irene card and it actually wants to come out. So this is confirmation that things are being handled fairly justly, that all is going to be well in your world because it says there is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. So I do feel like, you know, there is going to be some sense of peace. You're going to have peace, solitude, you know, things are going to be very peaceful in your world and that's what I was feeling like you know you're very protective because that's all you're focused on right now is your self-care but someone that's coming in is definitely going to bring balance they're going to bring love you see those two dolphins dolphins represent balance but they're also very intuitive um, animal totems and with all of this beautiful blue water I do feel like somebody is going to um, set your mind at ease. You're going to feel at peace because whatever this message of love, because this is another seven, you know, this person with the seven, I feel like this is someone that could be a cancer. I'm feeling strong cancer Leo vibes. If they're in the beginning, it's cancer of the month. And if they're at the end of the month, it's, you know, Leo. But I do feel like this person is going to um, make a move. I keep hearing that song, make that move. So they're going to make a move towards you. And with this peace song, um, I mean, this peace card, it's like, it is literally going to make you feel at peace. I feel like they're coming in to bring peace, to bring solitude. And it's because you all have transformed. You've transmuted negative energy. You've learned valuable lessons. And now you're going to have this beautiful new beginning. You know, there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of evolution. And there's a lot of newness that's coming in because you've earned it. A lot of rewards. So let's go ahead. Here we have Shalimar. And it says, this is for the love in you. And that's the same group that I was just saying, make that move. So Shalimar. So they're going to make a move. See that? Got focused intention, just wanted to fly out. So this is what this is what this person is doing, manifesting you. Because that's what focused intention is, is like literally manifesting what you desire. But this also is telling you to continue, you know, shooting for the stars. Whatever you're, you know, whatever it is you're doing right now, continue to keep focusing your thoughts because you will... Um, you will hit your mark, you know, you will reach 
your goals. Especially if it comes to love. All right, a couple of cards just flew out. Let me see. So, compassion. So, don't judge anyone and anything. Just, you know, focus on your healing. You know, we all are in different phases and stages of our journey. And so I feel like, you know, the divine wants you to literally like show forgiveness, you know, be forgiving of those who may have hurt you and be compassionate, you know, because when you focus on the love and light, you attract that you radiate love and light, you attract that. So when you're vibrating in the high frequency, you're going to attract that. But if you stay low vibrational and you're holding on resentment, anger, animosity, then you're going to attract that too. So the divine is saying like, you know, be more compassionate and this is for the lover in you. So that's what the divine wants you to do. Focus on, you know, the love, you know, focus on the love, focus on the light, you know, of every situation, purification. So many of you are, you know, definitely cleansing. You know, you could be taking a lot of spiritual baths. You could sp be spending a lot of time, you know, at the water. I know for my solar return um, for October, I'm going to the beach. I want to be at the beach, even if it's cold. It's still kind of warm here in North Carolina. Um, but I want to be at the beach. I want to wake up and see the water. Um, and I also want to do like, you know, I want to do an offering, uh, to Mama Yemenya, Mama Oshun, you know, to the ancestors. And so, you know, many of you could be, you know, visiting a beach, could be, you know, spending some time, um, at a lake, you know, a river. Um, many of you could just be, like I said, taking spiritual baths, cleansing yourselves, resetting, recalibrating, rejuvenating your spirit, your body, and your mind. Um, but I also feel like, you know, there is a sense that um, if you aren't doing those things, it's time for a cleansing. Um, maybe some of you may need to do like a detox just to, um, you know, get your, um, the, the, uh, just to get your, your, your energy and your vibration higher, you know, because maybe there's been, you know, I'm hearing flush, flush your system, detox your system, your organs, get rid of parasites. Because I feel like it's going to rejuvenate you, you know, it's going to rejuvenate you. And so next we have medicine woman. So a lot of you are healers, shamans, light workers. You're highly intuitive. We did see that you have the high priestess here and you also had intuition. So I feel like trust your intuition because you do carry um, ancient wisdom. And I feel like a lot of you are using your your gifts um, in channeling, uh, in, you know, whether uh, psychically, uh, clairvoyantly, clairaudiently, even through reading and uh, channeling messages via tarot cards, cardomancy. Um, even if you scry, I feel like there is a strong, uh, powerful um connection you have to to your higher self to your intuition and I feel like you could use your powers for good and you can help heal others maybe you're already doing that because if you have a social media platform that could be how you are um giving help look at this we got inner wisdom here Athena so Aicho Kuan Yin D Diana Irene and we have uh Coventina and uh Athena here so there's a lot of cards speaking to intuition intention um, and the magical being that you are. So I feel like just trust your intuition. You're going to know exactly what you need to do because something's going to come up and it is going to involve matters of the heart. It's going to pull on your emotional strings, uh, because we do see there is a message of a uh, concern that can be coming, you know, coming in. But I feel like, you know, with that empath card that showed up during the pre-shuffle, um, you could show empathy and compassion without um, completely getting duped and falling into traps. So you could, you know, show love, you know, because the divine said be compassionate. Um, but you don't have to necessarily uh, fall into any traps or fall back into a routine of, you know, being everybody's savings grace. Because sometimes when you try to step in and help people, you know, you could be, you know, literally like um, interrupting their karma if you will. So we have here, you know, this Athena, this speaks to the wisdom that you have, the wisdom you've obtained, you know, and you've obtained this wisdom through the application of the knowledge you've gathered on this journey, on this journey. And if you look, there is, you know, this beautiful owl here. So that will allude to, you know, you 
knowing how to navigate a lot of unexpected changes, you know, sudden upheavals and just being able to work your way through that dark night of the soul period. And um, it's taught you how to, you know, to listen more to your intuition and trust your inner gumption um, and to not, you know, delay those moments when you may need to take action. So that's beautiful. And on the bottom of the deck, we have Sarasvati, the arts. So many of you are writers. Some of you are poets. You have a gift and you need to utilize it. That could be what you are um, being told to focus your intention and to not be, you know, you need to take action and, and, and go after what it is you want because it's obvious that there's, you know, you're delaying. You're delaying, you know, something's being delayed and the divine is telling you here, um, take appropriate action, you know. So don't be afraid, you know, don't be scared. So we have... Um, So we have Jeff Bradshaw and Jill Scott, and it's called Slide. Okay. So don't let something slide either, you know. So if you see somebody trying to pull some, you know, some sort of shenanigans, don't let it slide. You got to call a, call a spade a spade. And I just got dizzy just now. I got I just got a dizzy spell. Give me a moment. That was weird. Maybe some of y'all are having dizzy spells. So just be just be mindful. That could be why the purification card is here, because maybe y'all need to do a cleanse, a detox. But we have here vampire and emotional intelligence, and then we also have dawn, the light after the darkness. So there is some light after that after the darkness. And with that ten of swords, you know, like I said, even though that's a ten of swords, that speaks to all the betrayal, the backstabbing, the lies, the gossip, the cheating, the stealing. All of the people trying to deceive you, all of the people who betrayed your trust, all of those fake friends, frenemies, all them people trying to set you up, plot plan, all them Judases, all them Jezebels, all them hateful energies, toxic energies that you are around. Now that sword, you know, you could use that ace of swords to cut yourself free from those karmic connections. And that's why you have completed the cycle because, you know, you needed to see these people for who they were, but more importantly, you needed to learn to, to own your power, stand in your power. And so that's why, you know, now there's a dawning of a new day. Now things are, you know, looking bright, looking up because you have more optimism about your future, you know, and there's more um, of a sense that you've healed from those betrayals. All right, I got to do that again because I don't know what kind of shuffling that was or what kind of cut that was. Let me do it one more again. There we go. Bottom of the deck, we have invisibility, and this is authenticity. See that? So, yes, this is exactly um, what I was feeling about you all, is that you had to, um, you had to learn to, you had to figure out who you were, but in figuring out who you were, um, you had to almost face, you know, face that, that shadow side so that you can, you know, be more discerning of what wasn't serving your highest good. So you had to learn to be your authentic self. And the way that you were taught how to do that was by dealing with someone who was also in their shadow side. So it was like the more you dealt with someone in their shadow side, the more you felt compelled to show up as your authentic self. I also feel like, you know, someone, you didn't know this person fully, this past person, like they never revealed who they were. Um, and I feel like, you know, you, that's what, what fit that, what, that's what honestly, you know, made you feel like you were, um, you were kind of duped, you know, because you, you felt like you were giving your all to this person, but you really wasn't, um, because I feel this person wouldn't allow you to be your authentic self. Cause I feel like they kind of overpowered you. You know, it was almost like they, they were very controlling and overbearing. My way or the highway. Someone who's always right. Someone who's always wanting things to work out in their favor. Very selfish, self-absorbed. Remember, ego was playing earlier. So this person's someone who's very, very egotistical. Someone who has a very distorted, twisted perspective about relationships, about love, about masculinity even, sensitivity. And with this invisibility card, 
I feel like y'all felt invisible. You felt unseen. But I feel like the more that um, this person mistreated you, the more compelled you felt to work on yourselves. And this led to you discovering who you were, you know, who you are. And now you're showing up as that person um, unapologetically. And so we have um, Fela Kuti, water, no get enemy. So water is your element. So I feel like you definitely realize, you know, this with water, no get enemy. You definitely realize that this person wasn't, um, they wasn't, they wasn't who you wanted them to be. All of these cards just flipped over. So I'm going to take them. You, you realize they were frenemies. They were fake. And so we have jack-o'-lantern here, protection. So many of you, you are protected. Many of you, the divine is telling you to protect yourselves. Because you could have a lot of people who's still kind of gunning for you, still trying to get back, you know, get clapped back or get some sort of revenge, revenge, excuse me. But you are protected, you know, and this is your season. So I feel like you're, you're, you're you know, this is when the veil is very thin. So the, definitely um, I see a nap now. Now, so yeah, there's going to be some, some um, attacks that are going to feel very much um like they're coming out of the woodworks you're not going to really you know just protect yourself because i feel like somebody's trying to figure out some way to attack you and you have this ghost with regret somebody's regretting their actions you have blind spots so see that that's why i was that's why that protection card came because it says skull of darkness and blind spots so you know definitely um protect yourself do whatever you have to do to protect yourself whether smudging cleansing yourself through spiritual baths um, you know, purchasing, you know, very protective items such as evil eye trees that I sell on my Etsy shop or uh, protective jewelry, wearing your ambulance, saying your prayers, calling in your angels, uh, because there are some blind spots. Um, and I feel like this person, you know, that duped you, bamboozled you, um, obviously, you know, you wasn't anticipating it and expecting it. So that was a blind spot. But I do feel like with this candle um, lit on the crown chakra. Um, that speaks to your intuition, receiving those downloads, you know, those those transmissions from spirit, getting that divine intervention. Um, someone could have been doing a lot of um, spell work as well. You know, somebody could have been doing a lot of spell work because I was picking that up on these cards. Um, you know, the uh, secret love, uh, secret, what is it called? The, the sexual magic tarot. So somebody's definitely been doing a lot of um love spells incubus succubus energy um so be mindful protect yourself that could be why jack-o-lantern is telling you protection because you want to protect yourself do reversals you could do like reversal spells and there's this gnat that's attacking me right now so many of you you could have somebody just kind of being annoying to you you know maybe somebody's going to try to annoy you and with that's why this message of concern is they're trying to like just kind of getting trying to get you back in your in your feels, you know, trying to control your energy. So we do have some sweetness and synergy. And this is Barn Brock. So there is someone coming in that's going to be very, very much. Um, you're going to feel a very synergetic connection with this person that's watching you. That's about to make a move. Um, and it's going, he's going to, they're going to be very sweet. That's what I was saying. They're going to be very attentive, you know, very attentive to you and um, affectionate towards you. And I feel like this person is, is you know, maybe they know how to bake. Maybe they know how to cook. Um, maybe this person will be coming in around your solar return. Um, they will reach out during that time. I see here night song and hidden talents. So many of you have a lot of talents. That's why that Sarasvati card showed up. So the divine really wants you to um, hone that skill. You know, keep your unwavering thoughts and feelings and even your attention focused, you know, on what it is you want. Because some of, some of you have skills and the divine keeps trying to remind you to utilize that talent. Um, I feel like you have an ancestor, a masculine energy, maybe a father, a grandfather, great grandfather, uncle, aunt, uh, I said aunt, uncle, cousin, or even a sibling, an ex-husband, a, uh, a lover, you know, a, a dear friend that may have transitioned into the spirit realm. And they may come around from time to time. You may see these beautiful cardinal birds. And they're just giving you like those warning shots 
um, just kind of telling you to continue on your path, but also telling you to not forget your dreams, you know, because you have a lot of hidden talents. And, um, you know, maybe some of you are having some difficulty uh, channeling in on that energy. Or maybe if you're a writer, you're having writer's block. And they're just telling you, like, maybe you need to go outside, get some fresh air. Maybe you need to rejuvenate, purify your spirit, recalibrate recharge your batteries go buy bodies of water and that will you know kind of like reinvigorate that 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 energy you know and so we have here with this red cardinal like i said some of you may be seeing that so with fela kuti you know no water get no um get what is this water get no enemy you know so yeah you know and with this water here i feel like with water no get en no get my enemy water no get enemy it's i feel like they're saying by bodies of water your enemy can't get you because it's going to recharge you it's going to purify you it's going to clean clear and cleanse your, your energetic space maybe some of you like i said need to take spiritual baths because water no get enemy so your enemy won't be able to get you if you're cleansing yourself frequently you know and if you feel that heavy energy of attack definitely um cleanse yourself trust what you're feeling intuitively and so we have cauldron and it says um, synergy and healing so this is the second reference to synergy so I do feel like um, a lot of you have manifested a lot of you could be doing your own rituals to call in new love to call in new opportunities abundance prosperity you know and also to you know purge and release anything that may be around you I hear that you could be creating potions and elixirs you know, maybe some of you are doing release ceremonies, burning, you know, burning certain, um, you know, certain fragrances like frankincense and myrrh. And then we have zombie here, control. So this zombie, this is what she was dealing with before. Remember, I referenced whatever is dead, um, you know, whatever, um, whatever is dead. Wait, whatever isn't growing is dead. And so that's what she was dealing with, you know, somebody that was trying to hold this, hold on to this connection, trying to maintain this control over you. But this was that same person that was keeping secrets and lying and cheating and creeping and sneaking, snooping and, you know, stealing and doing all type of stuff. This person was trying to control you. But this is a relationship that has already been dead, stinking and buried. But they refuse to let you go. And that could be why this Ten of Swords is here and that message of concern. Because they keep trying to bring conflict. They keep trying to confuse, you know. And it's because they want to win at all costs. Because maybe they feel like, you know, they want to sabotage a new connection that you have. And then we have this eternal love. This is, again, coming out for the third time, if I'm not mistaken, in your reading or the second time. And it says eternal love. Love is love is love. And it transcends physical death. So just as I was picking up with this card here, Night Song, many of you have fathers, grandfathers, uncles, brothers, cousins, ex-lovers, friends that have transcended. And they're reminding you to, you know, tap in, tune into your, your gifts, that you have gifts that you are to share. And more importantly, they're letting you know that they love you, they're with you, and they're protecting you and guiding you. Their love transcends physical death. So, you know, know and trust that you are loved. You know, know and trust that your angels, your guides are with you. And on the bottom of the deck, like I said, you have this protection. So they absolutely are protecting you. And I feel like this connection, this, this relationship, you know, as I also feel, felt initially, like this person that's coming in could be like someone that you have a past life connection you know, because it says it transcends physical death. So maybe, you know, this isn't our first go round. You know, we all, you know, have um, multiple, we, 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 we live and we die so many different times. <laughs> you know, we have so many, this is not your first married, you know, rodeo. This is not your first time here, in other words. So you may have known this person from a previous life. You know, so definitely, you know, do not, you know, say yes. Like Beyonce said, if someone does come in and, and, and invite you out on a date or to go out to have coffee or, you know, sit down and listen to some live music or something. Just just say yes. Be open. Be receptive. 
and we have roller roller skating um, roller skating jam, and this is De La Soul. So yeah, maybe somebody will ask you to go roller skate, you know. And especially with this Love Jones is very nostalgic energy. I was feeling very youthful energy, so it's almost like be spontaneous, be adventurous, you know, have fun, you know, do fun things. Don't be so routine, so regimented, and um, you know, stuck in your ways. Like, let someone court you. Go out and have fun. Because whoever this person is, I feel like this is a very protected union. And I feel like your angels and your guides, they're the ones like conspiring behind the scenes to bring this union in. Because this is like the opposite of what you was dealing with before. You know, and it's because this person is someone you may have manifested or this person has been manifesting you. And they like what they see. So this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope that the reading resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit that bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. If you are new here, I hope that you stay a while. And if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Until next time, send a big fat ashe. Peace, love, and light. And definitely check out my Etsy shop if you haven't been there already. I will be um, uploading or updating my site with my new um, evil eye trees if you are interested. But thank you all. Love and light.